Hello, good day, guys. My name is Nick, technical analyst with Sutton Forex. Today, we shall be looking at the technical analysis on the currency pair AUD USD. And as usual, first, we'll be talking about fundamental analysis before we move right down ahead to technical analysis, which is purely what we're going to be seeing on the chart. Now, AUD USD consolidates in a narrow range above the mid 0.690s. Uh, US CPI is being awaited. As we can see, AUD USD lacks any firm intraday direction yet, as it oscillates in a narrow range as a Tuesday, while recession fears seem to cap the risk sensitive Aussie uh, through a weaker USD lend support. Traders keenly await the US consumer inflation data for January before placing fresh bets. Uh, the AUD USD peer uh, struggled to capitalize on the previous day goodish rebound from a sub uh, 0.690 levels and oscillates in a narrow band through the early European session on Tuesday. Spot prices remain below the 0.700 psychological mark. Through the downside remains cushioned and meets some follow through US dollar sellings. In fact, the USD index, which tracks the greenback against the basket of currency, moves further away from a multi-week high touched on Monday and meets the ongoing decline in the US Treasury bond yields. That said, a looming resection risk hold back traders from placing aggressive bets around the risk-sensitive Aussie and keeping a lead on any meaningful upside for the AUD USDP, at least for the time being. Now, what do we expect for this on a technical level? We have seen that uh, this last price has been gauged at 0.6964 and a total daily change of 0.00 to minus 0.002. And the today's to uh, daily open was at 0.69. Checking our daily time frame, 0 0.6966. And uh, our daily SMA trends of SMA 20, we have it at 0 0.7002. And daily SMA of 50, we have it at 0 0.6874. Daily SMA 100, we have it at 0 0.6689. And of course, daily SMA 200, we have it at 0 0.6806, of course. We have previous daily high, previous daily lows, previous weekly high, previous weekly lows to be at 0 0.6974, 0 0.6891, 0 0.7011, and 0 0.6856, uh, respectively. And our Fibonacci daily is Fibonacci of 38.2%. We have it uh, to be at 0 0.6942, and daily Fibonacci 61.8% at 0 0.6922, of course. Now, what to expect from this uh, probable breakout from this? We are looking at at least I'll uh, reach out to this most recent resistance point and a breakthrough, of course, to a new zone at 0 0.71s or even the 0 0.70s region. But alternatively, a rebound might be uh, to be uh, the support at 0 0.69173, of course, which is about 68 to 7 pips from that entry point, which is good money. And that's our technical analysis on today's currency peer, all the USD. Now let's move over to the stock markets. Welcome back, guys. And on today's stock market, we'll be having a look at American Express. And uh, main headlining, we are seeing that uh, uh, Michigan Rep Street, Tradeda sold up to $130 uh, worth of $1,000 worth of American Express stock. Uh, this, of course, is expected to have huge, huge impact because we haven't noticed a uh, series of higher lows, but uh, uh, at a very important resistance zone, which is at 181. Uh, first touch, second touch, third touch, and now this. We are expecting nothing less than a move uh, up to at least a few pips before uh, total drop down because of this uh, very important news. Now, the American stock, uh, according to February filling, the transaction took place on uh, February 9, 2023. And a recent report, uh, House of Representatives Clerk Office revealed, uh, revealed that uh, Taneda made a sale of uh, American Express stock valued between $52,000 to $130,000. American Express shares are trading down at at least 0.9%, 8% at 177.61 at the time of writing. Why congregational transaction matters? Congregational transactions shouldn't be used primarily to make an investing decision. However, they can be an important factor for an investor to consider. A congressional transaction is when an, any representative or a senator buys uh, stocks and much of that. Anyways, uh, when is uh, we are looking at a sale on the other hand, and uh, can be made for a variety of reasons, uh, which of course I have mentioned. Um, we have 
series of important resistance zones be respected here, and uh, which means a total breakdown or fall off from this very important zone. Now, in April 2012, we have uh, former President Barack Obama signed the Stock Act law into law, which has prohibited uh, members of Congress from using private information. But this is more just as garbage, which uh, of course we can see in here is just a total respecting of this important resistance zone. We are seeing that this exact amount of transaction remained unknown by the filling states, a range of $52,000 to $100,000 and $30,000. Now, if we are to make an entry to this trade, we are looking at uh, first uh, being the most recent support zone from that entry point, which is at about 100 pieces. And any other important news, we are going to see an expected correction of this. And uh, this is about 200 plus pieces. But for now, we are looking at for 100 pieces from that entry point, of course which is good money. Now that's our technical analysis on today's stock market, American Express. I remain your host, Nick. Bye for now.